What's up, YouTube? Corporal Cloud Spike here. You're looking good. But you know what? You'd be looking a full lot better if there weren't a bunch of this keep calm and carry on crap going on. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen it all over the place. Keep calm and carry on this. Keep calm and carry on that. And it's about to drive me crazy. It really makes me mad. And we'll take a look at all that in a second because it is just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This shit has to stop. Okay? This shit has to stop. But first, let's take a look at some history here. Okay, so what you have to remember is that this whole keep calm and carry on thing started as a British kind of propaganda motivational thing during World War II. The idea was is that uh, it would help the British people keep calm and carry on because, you know, posters help people do that. In the stereotypical British fashion, I guess they just expected, oh, keep calm and carry on, righto, never mind the fact we're getting the f*** bombed out of us. So, this is exactly what was happening. We had the British, and you know, they were getting ready for World War Two, and uh, you know, things were looking pretty bad in Germany. <laughs> And, uh, you know, they were getting ready for all the terrible things that were about to happen. You know, the Germans were all going to be like, Aha! Yeah, it's my Luftwaffe! Pew, 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 pew! Gotcha! And that's just uh, something that's kind of terrifying. So terrifying, in fact, the bombing that took place during World War II was the backdrop and kind of the inspiration for C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. Now, we want to take this event that was so terrifying, it makes a group of kids spend an entire summer locked in a closet while trying to meet the Jesus allegory lion and turn it into a trivialized, monetized poster for people to put on their t-shirts with literally whatever the fuck they want to. And really, it, it just it needs to stop, okay? It needs to stop. Well, now that we've looked at the history, let me just take a second to remind you that unless you're currently living in, oh, I don't know, Afghanistan, Iraq, Chechnya, or any other place that gets regularly bombed or shelled on a regular basis, you have no idea what it feels like to be under the circumstances that caused this poster to be created in the first place. Unless you happen to be older and actually live through one of those events or be from a place like that, you really don't have a clue. Neither do I. I have no idea what it would be like to wake up one day to find the Germans flying over my house all like, Ach, it's mein Luftwaffe! And bombing my house. I just, I don't know. I can't imagine it. It'd be terrible. That being said, the British never actually even distributed these things. There was a few that were put up here and there, apparently, but from what I've read and what I've researched, they didn't even distribute the majority of them. So let's take a look at some of the examples of the things that are being told to us that we must keep calm and then do. Because there's a lot of them. How many? Well, let's see how many I can fit in the next minute and a half. So we've got keep calm and carry on. My wayward son. Keep calm and game on. Keep calm and learn Italian. Keep calm and kill zombies. Keep calm and love cats. Keep calm and love Jesus. Keep calm and love the boy with bread. Keep calm and play piano. Keep calm and play drums. Keep calm and play poker. Keep calm and play Minecraft. Keep calm and play Dark Souls. Fat chance in hell of that one. Keep calm and wear a bra that fits. Keep calm and stay single, you poor loser. Keep calm and get to the chopper. Keep calm and call Batman. And alternatively, we have keep calm and panic like fuck shit your pants. I think this sums it up best. Keep calm and write literally anything here. Although, I'm not completely sure if they were making a joke or taking their own advice.
Okay, so all this, and I still haven't gotten to literally the worst one. And that's keep calm and chive on. Keep calm and chive on. I'm sorry, if you need a reminder to remain relaxed and continue looking at pictures of bikini-clad women with large breasts, you need to pack your bags and go back to Amishville where you belong. Because, seriously, who needs a reminder about that? That's all I got. This is Corporal Cloud Spike signing out. Keep calm and save the world. Back in the day, back in the day. Nah, but seriously, guys, the chive is okay. <laughs>